In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can do a table of contents inside of Microsoft Word. We've got menus along the top, and what you're going to do is go up here to References and then Table of Contents. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we have styles introduced in our book. So you're going to go to the Home tab, and you're going to see these styles along the top. You're going to see No Space, Heading, Heading 2, Title, and so on. You can also use a drop-down key, and you can see sometimes there's more styles in here as well. You can create a style. You can apply styles. I'm going to give you a very quick overview for complete beginners in this video. So here I've got my book. I've got my title on the left-hand side, and I've got my introduction. And then as I scroll on down, I eventually have Chapter 1, I have Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and so on. So this is a fake book I'm using here for the purposes of this video. What I'm going to do is highlight introduction and I'm going to make it look the way I want to make it look. So for example, I'm going to do 18 point font. I'm going to do bold. Maybe I'm going to pick a different font, for example. Okay, I like the way that looks. I'm going to make this now a chapter heading. So at the top, I'm going to pick, for example, heading number one. I'm going to right click heading number one and I'm going to say update heading number one to match my selection. My selection is what I've highlighted here. Update Heading 1. And watch the text right here. You'll see it updates now. So Heading 1 now matches my chapter heading. I'm going to scroll on down now and find Chapter 1. I'm going to highlight it. I'm simply going to click Heading Number 1, and it instantly now changes to Heading Number 1. So I've tagged this text as Heading Number 1. When I highlight over a regular paragraph, you'll see it highlights as normal, but when I highlight Chapter 1, you'll see it now highlights as heading number one. It knows that it's heading number one. As I scroll down, I'm going to go to chapter number two, highlight it, click heading number one. I'm going to scroll down to chapter number three, highlight it, click heading number one. I now have three chapters highlighted all under heading number one, and my text is now different via tagging than my normal text of the body of my work. So I've got introduction, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. I'm now going to insert a page. I'm going to click up here to the top where it says introduction. I'm going to click control and enter. That's going to give me a brand new page here on the right hand side. I'm going to click inside of it. Now I'm going to go here to references, table of contents, custom table of contents. And when I do that, I'm going to see I can do heading one, heading two, heading three. Now I haven't made a heading two or a heading three, but I do have a heading number one. So I'm simply going to click OK. And we can see now it instantly knows to pull everything that's header number one. I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to create a little error here. I'm going to go up to introduction and I'm going to actually highlight this as heading number one accidentally. So you might have this happen to you once in a while. You accidentally highlight something as wrong. So if you want to update your table of contents, you simply double click inside your table of contents. It highlights everything. So I'm just going to simply click on here and you'll see update field, update the entire table, click OK, and you'll see now it inserts the paragraph that I highlighted because down below it thinks this is part of the table of contents because I told it that in the styles. So what you want to do is have your regular text say normal. Just have your headings say heading. And now I'm going to simply highlight this. I'm going to right click, update field, update entire table, and you'll see now my table of contents is simply the chapter headings on the pages that they are. Hope you found this helpful. Very quick table of contents. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.